You are either one of three people. You own goats already and are completely in love. You've thought about owning goats as a pet before, but haven't gotten them yet. Or it's never once crossed your mind to own a goat. Well, let me tell you, I've made it one of my life missions to share how wonderful goats are. I mean, they can provide food for your family. That's a great thing in this world we're living in now. But besides that, goats can provide companionship and love. They can make an excellent pet. The first thing you may ask yourself is, what breed should I get? What breed is a good beginner breed? All breeds of goats are, for the most part, taken care of the same way. So it really comes down to your desires. Do you want a small, medium, or large goat? Smaller goats, like Nigerian dwarfs and pygmy goats, can be easier to handle. They don't eat as much food and would be a great choice, but any goat can be a great friend. You'll also want to think about if you want a boy or a girl goat. Either would be fine, of course. If you get a male goat, it's best to have them castrated. There are many reasons to do this, several of them being, if they aren't castrated, they pee on themselves, they can be more aggressive, and they will live a stressful and much shorter life. Another question to ask is, should you get a bottle baby or a baby that's been weaned? Bottle babies can be fun and will really become attached to you because they know that you are a special food source for them. They will be very friendly goats. But there are a few more risks when bottle feeding. It's important to feed them correctly and feed them the right amounts as well, or they can get sick and die very quickly. You can also bring home two-month-old kids who have been raised by their mother or bottle-fed and weaned. They are still young enough to snuggle and become very friendly as well. Once you bring goats home, the most important things to give them is water, hay, and parasite control. Good quality grass hay is a great option for pet goats. Pet goats also don't require any grain or very little grain if you do give it to them. The most important thing to remember when thinking about goat food is to not make changes to their diet suddenly. Don't change their food overnight, and if you do make changes, do it very gradually, and for heaven's sake, don't let them get into any chicken feed or open bags of grain lying around. It's important to know that parasites are a leading cause of death in goats. It's important to regularly have your goat's poop looked at at your local vet's office to see if they have worms and to worm them with an appropriate warmer that is effective in your area. One part of their food that you might not think about is minerals. It's really important to put out loose minerals for your goats as well. Just like us humans, they need their extra boost of nutrition as well. You'll also need to provide them a safe place out of the wind, rain, snow, and sun. Goats really, really don't like to get wet and will get sick if they don't have a place to get out of the weather. With their basic needs met, they are happy and healthy creatures and are like dogs in many ways. They will follow you everywhere. They can go on hiking trips with you. They can learn to pull a cart. They will rub on you and expect their ears scratched and they love to nibble on anything connected to your being and anything of interest, really. Goats are those friends that get you out of bed in the morning and give you a purpose to spend some time outdoors when you might not have normally done so. They love you exactly for who you are and are quite content to listen to everything you want to talk about, especially if you're scratching their ears. Goats are a great choice as pets, and I hope that you have the opportunity to bring a goat home to your family.